1979, a film hit theaters called Luna, stirring a whirlwind of emotions. The movie is a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad moments, so keep your eyes peeled for more. Do you have a special memory associated with it? Maybe there's a scene or moment that has stuck with you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching to uncover the layers of the film. In the late 1970s, a captivating movie hit the screens, drawing audiences with its touching story and excellent acting. Luna, released in 1979, made a big impact in the movie world with its powerful story about family. It's set in the 1960s and 1970s and focuses on the rocky relationship between a troubled mom and her rebellious teenage son. The story centers on Luna, a famous opera singer dealing with personal struggles while balancing her career and motherhood. Luna's challenges reach a peak as her son, grappling with his own identity and desires, seeks understanding in the midst of their unconventional family life. What makes Luna special is its genuine emotions and deep feelings, showing viewers the complexities of human connections and the outcomes of the decisions people make in pursuit of their dreams and happiness. The movie explores themes like love, sacrifice, and redemption, touching the hearts of audiences worldwide. Directed by a visionary filmmaker, Lunar remains a timeless masterpiece that continues to enthrall audiences with its moving story and outstanding performances. As viewers dive into Luna's world, they're reminded of the lasting impact of cinema in revealing the beauty and intricacy of human life. Released in 1979, Luna is a film dedicated to Franco Arkeley. It stars Jill Clayburgh, whose grandmother Alma Lachenbruch Clayburgh was an opera singer much like her character in the movie. Despite her notable performance in Luna, Clayburgh received an Oscar nomination the same year for her role in Starting Over directed by Alan Pacula. The movie delves into familial dynamics and personal struggles within the opera world, exploring themes of identity, relationships, and artistic passion. Clayburgh's portrayal adds depth to her character, showcasing her range as an actress. Overall, it remains a significant piece in Clayburgh's filmography, demonstrating her talent and versatility. The movie Luna wowed viewers when it premiered at the New York Film Festival. It showcased the director's skill and the lead actress's talent. She prepared for her role by learning about opera and studying Italian. Even though most of the film was in English, it included some Italian dialogue, adding depth to the story. The collaboration between the director, the actress, and the language choices made Luna a hit. With its engaging story and authentic performances, Luna left a lasting impression on audiences. It's a great example of how teamwork and hard work can create something special in cinema. In the movie Luna, actress Jill Clayburg plays the role of an opera singer. Interestingly, she never actually sings in the film. Instead, all her performances are mimed. Directed by Bernardo Bertolucci, it is part of a series of controversial films from the 1970s, including 19 and Last Tango in Paris, which received 18-plus certificates worldwide. Matthew Barry, who made his theatrical feature film acting debut in the movie, had previous experience in television and off-Broadway. He responded to an advertisement in the show Business Trade Journal Variety for the role of Luna's son. After being selected as one of 10 finalists, Barry underwent interviews and screen tests. Eventually, he secured the role after a series of readings and tests, including one with actress Jill Clayburgh. Bertolucci's Luna stands out as a film of artistic endeavor and controversy within the context of 1970s cinema, known for its boundary-pushing narratives and thematic depth. During the making of the movie, there were some interesting stories. Actress Jill Clayburgh, who starred in An Unmarried Woman, had a busy schedule because Luna's filming coincided with award ceremonies where she was nominated. She had to manage her time well. Clayburgh's dubbing sessions for the movie got delayed until she finished working on Starting Over. Robert Benigni, who played a small role as the upholsterer, later became famous for his film Life is Beautiful, where he won an Oscar for a role where he didn't speak English. The movie Luna also caused some controversy because it dealt with a sensitive topic and inappropriate relationship between a mother and her son. This theme was something that director Bernardo Bertolucci had explored before in Before the Revolution. These stories from behind the scenes give us more insight into the challenges and successes of the people involved in making Luna. Luna, a film released in 1979, was a Bertolucci family project. 
Giovanni Bertolucci produced the film, Giuseppe Bertolucci contributed as a writer and an uncredited second assistant director, and Laletta Bertolucci served as a unit publicist in Italy. Bernardo Bertolucci, along with his wife Claire Peplo, wrote and directed the film. The Italian producers initially opposed the film's storyline. Consequently, the director was instructed not to use a local cast. This decision led to alterations in the roles played by Jill Clayburgh and Matthew Barry, who were changed to American characters. The title Luna, or La Luna, translating to Moon in English, was inspired by one of director Bernardo Bertolucci's earliest memories. In this memory, he recalls looking at his mother's face and then shifting his gaze to the moon, with the two images blending into one. In the 1979 film, actress Liv Ullman played the role of opera singer Katerina Silvery, a character carefully chosen by director Bernardo Bertolucci. She was Bertolucci's first choice for the pivotal role in Luna. One interesting aspect of the movie is the character portrayed by Carlo Verdone, reportedly inspired by Franco Zeffirelli, a respected opera director. Bertolucci acknowledged this influence, adding an interesting layer to Verdone's character in Luna. The film delves into the world of opera and the complexities of its characters. Liv Ullman's portrayal of Katerina Silvery, the central figure, brings depth to the narrative. Bertolucci's nod to Franco Zeffirelli through Carlo Verdone's character adds another layer of depth, drawing parallels to the real-life opera scene. In the movie, the characters navigate the challenges of their relationships against the backdrop of the opera world, it provides insight into the dynamics within the lives of these characters, showcasing the director's interest in exploring human connections. Directed by Bertolucci, the film captures the essence of opera, intertwining it with the personal stories of its characters. The choice of Liv Ullman and the incorporation of influences like Franco Zeffirely contribute to the film's unique narrative. In conclusion, Luna stands as a cinematic exploration of opera and human relationships with Liv Ullman and Carlo Verdone bringing depth to their roles. Bertolucci's incorporation of real-world inspirations adds authenticity to the film's portrayal of the opera scene. The 1979 movie Luna, directed by Bernardo Bertolucci, has a surprising trivia fact. During filming, there was a scene that required a newborn baby. Instead of using a prop or doll, Bertolucci chose to use a real infant. Due to the nature of the scene, the baby needed to be breastfed. The mother of the infant, who was also an actress, agreed to breastfeed the baby on screen. This decision sparked controversy and criticism from various quarters, highlighting the bold and boundary-pushing nature of the film. The story of Luna revolves around a mother, Katerina, played by Jill Clayburgh, and her troubled son, Joe, portrayed by Matthew Berry. The film explores themes of maternal love, addiction, and the search for identity. Set against the backdrop of Italy in the late 1970s, Luna offers a raw and unflinching portrayal of familial bonds and personal struggles. Katerina, a famous opera singer, grapples with her son's drug addiction while also confronting her own demons. Joe seeks solace and understanding amidst his tumultuous journey into adulthood. The dynamic between them is fraught with tension, love, and betrayal as they navigate the complexities of their relationship. Bertolucci's direction, along with powerful performances from Clayburgh and Barry, brings depth and authenticity to the characters. The film's haunting soundtrack, composed by Ennio Morricone, further enhances the emotional resonance of Luna. Despite its controversial moments, Luna remains a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of human emotions and relationships. It's a movie that leaves a lasting impression on viewers, challenging them to confront the intricacies of love, loss, and redemption. In conclusion, Luna is not just a film, it's a visceral and compelling journey into the depths of the human psyche, leaving a lasting impact on those who experience it.